Welcome to Cherrybrook Technology High School. What are you into, mate? It's the only game of all, football. Come on. Which one, mate? Rugby league. Rugby league, and which yeah. team? Canary. All right, well done. And Sam? Yeah, I play the real football AFL. Oh, we've got a bit of a tussle here. Let's get on with it. Okay, what sort of bed does John Bon Jovi prefer to a... Uh, Tim? Um, bed of roses. Well done, yes. He prefers it to a bed of nails. With which sport do you associate the name Lester Ellis? <laughs> Kathy? Just my buzzer. And our winner is Tim. <laughs> well done. Cherrybrook High is so far ahead of other state schools, little wonder it's creating unprecedented demand. We use the CAD laboratory on the computers, computer aided design. That's good. We do that in d design what, technology. What's that in English? <laughs> and all that means is technology and in today's world. As you can see, I've made a sleeping bag. Nick Greiner performed the official opening with the help of a student-programmed robot arm. The school is undoubtedly a showpiece for the government. A baby born this week has already been enrolled. Police are investigating more end-of-year pranks, this time by students from schools at Cherrybrook. I can't hear it quarter past six this morning. To a scene of other devastation outside the school. Stolen signs, road signs, letterboxes, you name it. Rubbish, because there's a council cleanup piled all over the roundabout. There was apparently amongst your number, a marauding group of anything up to 50, 60 people. You terrorised Cherrybrook last night. At Cherrybrook Technical High School, students were forced to spend their muck up day cleaning up the mess of others. Graffiti was painted on roads near the school. Only a handful of students is thought responsible. What we're finding out now is the phones are ringing, the people are turning up. One guy's letterbox has been totally destroyed. A number have been totally destroyed. But one rings, he's expecting important information today. Letters and documents that have come, and he doesn't have a letterbox. So clearly we have to replace letterboxes. The one we have, the only one we've managed to find isn't his. We just had a phone call from another person who says that there was a fire. They've contacted the fire brigade. It's 
immature. It's just really pathetic. What do you want me to say?